Hey guys, um, I'm just putting something up. I want to talk about something called Osgood Schlatter's disease, uh, which is basically much more prevalent in young athletes or young people um, who do a lot of athletic type of activity or um, more young talking about uh, that sort of early, early teenage kind of thing. Uh, it's mid teenage as a rule. Uh, it is essentially a irritation and inflammation um, of the growth plate at the top of the shin bone, the tibia. It is something that turns into quite a painful um, problem. And one of the issues that I have picked up with working with young people on this is in relation to the amount of activity that is going on and that seems to be the bigger cause of a lot of problems is that um, they are high impact type sports uh, be it rugby, be it soccer, uh, be it running um, and there is also an excessive amount of it being done um, which is either being pushed by the sport body and thereby the coach um, which could happen because it's happening at a club or school level as well as a uh, representative level and the demands that have been made by both systems um, what I want to say to parents is uh, guys you need to be aware of this your kids are going to go through a lot of pain with this a lot um, and it'll have obvious effects on you know things like their mental health etc as well because they'll be tired they'll be sore they'll be um struggling emotionally with why they're going through this etc um as without being rude or offensive to anyone as parents my belief is that we also should have own and control to a degree as the amount of activity our kids do and i feel in the modern world that there's so much that kids want to do um, that too much of that is happening. But at the same time, um, there's a lot of pressure from the different sports bodies to to um, get your kid to do this, get your kid to do that. Your kid has to be at, so uh, at training four times a week um, and you've got two games on the weekend, things like that. That kind of thing is unnecessary and essentially just... <sighs> it's bad for the kids it's not about the kids interest it becomes about the sports interest uh, if your kid is playing rugby touch rugby and rugby league and Oztag um, like where did the hell did they have time to recover you know I, I don't want to sound like an old fart but I go back to high school back in the 80s in the 90s for example and it was you had one sport too that you had to play in winter and you had one sport you had to play in summer and whatever else happened outside of that you made it happen but you had those one key things you had to address most times we were stuffed from dealing with one sport and school you know um so we need to step back i want to say to sports coaches uh without being rude because you guys are not coached or trained on what these kinds of issues are but between the information that gets fed to you via the parents from the physios you need to take that really seriously um it's really important that the physio uh, or the clinician that's involved has a big amount of influence on how you're thinking um, more is not better for the kid and even one day extra less is not necessarily a good thing either for the kid especially if they end up playing two games on the weekend or something um, it's really important that as coaches you understand that you might have to actually say to the child and the parents you might need to because of it's really bad you might need to take half the season off or the season off or you might need to take a month off um, this is a developing um, growth related disease not everyone gets it but there are a lot of people out there that get it and nothing can be changed about it it's because too much is being done sport wise and it is there's a there's a susceptibility probably to that person developing the disease anyway but all this impact goes and makes it worse so please coaches step back it's not your role to be parenting the kid that's the parents and it's definitely more in your sport's interest to be able to develop a child um, with some proper care and physical development so that the child stays in the sport 
or keeps coming back to the sport because he can or she can rather. That's all I want to say. Thank you.